Umeshuka toke ya mbinguni We ni malaika Uja kosea Sifa zote tumpe maulana Alie kuumba Aja kosea Toto si toto Mepa shinda loto Kukupata mtoto Basi wewe wanani Niambie wanani Kama si wangu tu Toto si toto Nime shinda loto Kukupata mtoto Basi wewe wanani Niambie wanani Kama si wangu tu Hello guys, welcome again. It's the Rosie Diaries. It's been a while. We are happy to be back after such a long time. And we are here with full force to bring you a very interesting episode. What do you say, babe? Are we ready? Yes, we are more than ready to welcome and entertain you and also share with you uh, our journey as the Rosie Diaries. Yes. We've been featuring some uh, friends now we are back to set as a couple. Yeah. There's my lovely wife, uh, Francesca, and I, the legend, uh, and some boy, home and away. <laughs> and our son, our cute son, Remy. <laughs> yes, welcome, Let's guys. Let's get on. Yes, we are on it. So yeah. today, what are we talking about? Okay, basically today we want to talk about age. Mm. Everybody understands... Uh, 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 this thing called age in a relationship whether in marriage we want to talk more about age was it about age <laughs> <laughs> is it something that's surprising you or uh, something you feel <laughs> yeah i feel like uh, today we mm. should uh, talk about it yeah. uh, to let guys know what we feel yeah. about the uh, age difference mm. yeah um, so I want to ask you. Yes. Um, for you, if you are to date now, mm. uh, will age be a factor? Like, will you consider age mm. as a factor before you start dating someone? Honestly, to say the truth, mm -hmm. some people say age is just a number, yes. but for me, age is a concern. Mm -hmm. You know why? Oh, is it a concern? Yeah, it's a concern because mm -hmm. I don't want to date somebody who's too old mm -hmm. for me or who's too young for me yes. for some reasons. Mm -hmm. You know, like uh, men as we grow old, yes. I think uh, we tend to grow old mm -hmm. with our body intact. Yes. But as uh, ladies, they grow old, mm -hmm. you, you find that menopause is here <laughs> and maybe complications yes. in childbearing mm -hmm. and stuff like that yeah so i wouldn't be 30 mm -hmm. and maybe that somebody who is 40. yes at least they should be What's a reasonable a, a flexible age age gap for example you, will you date someone who is if you are 30 mm. or could you consider dating someone who is uh, let's say 35 or mm. uh, 32 or uh, 28 for me okay. uh, I think a five is a reasonable gap yeah. in dating mm -hmm. if I'm 30 mm -hmm. and you are 35 mm -hmm. that's okay for me yes. at least I know I have 10 years mm -hmm. we can get two or three kids together <laughs> you <Yeah>. know <laughs> and like menopause kicks <laughs> before <in. laughs> menopause yeah and don't get us wrong actually we are not finger pointing anybody it's yeah. just us as the arosis yes. sharing our mind okay yeah, yeah, yeah. So if I'm dating somebody who's 35, mm -hmm. that's much reasonable, you know? Yeah. But if you are 29, mm -hmm. 28, two years uh, gap is, is okay for me. Yeah. That's for me, yeah. okay? I don't know about you guys, mm -hmm. those are my male friends. Yeah, you will comment down will comment below, below what and is your... uh, let us know what do you think is age a factor in marriage or when dating. Yes, yes, yes. So, uh, another thing mm. I could ask you are dating uh, you have someone uh, whom you love so much mm. and you you decide like okay i want to know more about this uh, lady or this guy mm -hmm. and uh, i want to dig deeper uh, to find out more about her past or about his past uh, 
do you consider that uh, how is it how will it impact your relationship is it a good thing to dig deeper uh, to know more about you someone you are dating or your partner they say the wise men say if you can uh, solve your past yes. we can it can help you solve your present and the future in other words make peace with the past mm -hmm. so that it doesn't spoil your future yes what i mean if you are going to date like my lovely wife here i started finding out how she has been seen childhood who are her friends who have been her boyfriends you know and uh, so on why why am i saying this one because sometimes you may get somebody maybe sorry to say they have been going through some torture and they have some emotions you know attached to them let them not love you because of emotions mm -hmm. and again you may find someone maybe she was raped in the past you should know how to treat such a person mm -hmm. and maybe somebody for some reasons she has, um, she had uh, less abortion mm -hmm. maybe it can be true rape and she decided to you know the, 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 to abort the baby yeah. so that means you have to understand the background don't stay in a marriage for example 10 15 years mm -hmm. no child and you know then it comes a reason later from medical tests that oh uh, she, she had some uh, you know, underlying conditions yes. it's good to know mm -hmm. even know her uh, ex or your ex uh, mm -hmm. that's if you are a male factor here mm -hmm. know the, the the past of your lover but mm -hmm. let it not make you who you are in the present mm -hmm. because it will help you solve problem in the future yeah if they have been victimized in any way mm -hmm. try to be gentle to them yeah and also, if they have been underlying mm -hmm. health conditions, yes. you try to advise them the best way to overcome such a challenge. It's good to know the past mm -hmm. of someone, yeah. but don't dig deep mm -hmm. to knowing who is your first boyfriend, who, <laughs> how many boyfriends you had, yeah. you know, such like. And but, you know, there and, are some people who can sugarcoat mm. and spoil your relationship, <laughs> you know. Don't go asking everyone, oh, how do you know my lady, how was she before, you know, there are some people maybe who have ill emotions, they can, they can sugarcoat <laughs> everything and make you lose that person and maybe it, was, it wasn't uh, uh, right mm. for you to dig deeper, you know, it's good if you love someone and uh, that person has opened up to tell you about her past or his past mm. i think it's good to be content and mm. uh, say okay let's uh, commit ourselves to uh. god and as we did as we go on truth will come out and i will know this person okay yes so it's good to do some research but not Deep. <laughs> some deeper, people, deeper. some people, some people uh, have ill, <laughs> ill motives. Don't they be can addic spoil addictive. Everything. Yes. Don't yes. be addictive. Actually, yes, yes. what she's mm -hmm. saying, uh, she has a point. Mm -hmm. If you are going to find about someone in the his or her relationship in the past, yeah, it's not an issue of going to call their exes, mm -hmm. informing them. Oh, now I'm in a relationship with this <laughs> chick. How does she behave? Yeah. Is, is there anything I need? No, mm -hmm. just. They have explained to you what they have gone through mm -hmm. in a relationship, maybe a disappointment, mm -hmm. maybe a heartbreak, mm -hmm. and so on. Mm -hmm. It's for you to understand how to help them overcome such challenges. Do not be, you know, a uh, hindrance to their progress. Yeah. Even sometimes you can date and not even get married mm -hmm. together, you know? Yeah. Yeah, so it doesn't mean if you are dating, it's a qualification to marriage. Yeah. There is stages to marriage. Mm -hmm. Dating, engagement, yeah. and the proposal and, and the such like, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, if you are dating someone, age is a factor to me. Yes. And also their past. Mm -hmm. Not digging deep, just yes. knowing an overview what they have been up to mm -hmm. until the time we met. Yes, another question. <laughs> uh, for example, you are dating mm. and uh, you you sense some red red flags mm. what do you do do you pause or do you pray about it or do you decide to call it quits what do you advise the young people who are dating or who are intending to get married if in case there is some question marks mm. uh, do you just uh, go on and marry this person if there are some red flags you see you know what i mean if there are some red flags mm -hmm. 
just know how to relate with that person. Mm -hmm. Advise them, mm -hmm. you know, in a relationship, you should be open-minded. Yeah. Share everything mm -hmm. until you feel like you are, uh, you know, uh, your heart is at peace. Yes. When, what, let, let, let me not find out from somewhere, from someone else yeah, yeah. that you've been, you know, this, maybe you're a criminal. <laughs> you've killed somebody in the past, you're a murderer, you know? Yeah, yeah. Tell me I've been in prison for this reason. Mm -hmm. I came out on bail or this. So that if you walk on the streets with you, mm -hmm. I should not be afraid of you. Yeah. Let us, you know, uh, anybody who is uh, contemplating of getting married, yeah. let them have an open, ended conversation yeah. where you feel free to the other partner mm -hmm. share your past and let the past shape your future yes yes okay last but not least mm. uh, if you feel you you've got some kids you've gotten uh, like for example one two or, or three kids ah. do you do you advise someone to to undergo that process we call vasectomy or <laughs> is that person like go and feel the earth <laughs> who, who sent you <laughs> somebody a man has been poured to finish me guys <laughs> Yeah, I know I am a true Christian. <laughs> I don't believe for that reason. Yes. God said, mm -hmm. go and fill the <laughs> multiply earth. and fill the earth. <laughs> Why should I, you know, uh, misunderstand God? God said, multiply and fill the earth. <laughs> God said, go, go fill the earth. Mm -hmm. If we have found maybe mm -hmm. we have had three, four kids, yes. but if Mm -hmm. It's a concessional agreement mm -hmm. between two of us, <laughs> yes. a mutual agreement, mm -hmm. and also is uh, maybe underlined uh, health, health conditions condition, or risks yes. Yes. that can involve uh, either one of us. Mm -hmm. Then we can contemplate of such a decision, <laughs> yes. but uh, freely and willingly, mm -hmm. it's a no for me. Mm -hmm. No, feel the heart as God said. Yeah. Yes. Ah, it was <laughs> nice catching up, uh, and uh, I feel uh, you guys, you're gonna enjoy the our video today. And please let us know what we should improve. Comment something. At least let's learn from each other. Babe, do you have another question? I, I think uh, we have shared enough as we go on with this, uh, you know content creation in our channel yes. people will learn as uh, we are an inspirational uh, family yeah. in inspirational uh, channel where young couples can come in and learn one or two from us yes. from cooking lifestyle yeah. the people we interact with yeah. and uh, our day-to-day -day activities mm -hmm. now we are having a conversation from aspire park yes for those can. who are uh, in qatar they understand this place yeah. it's a bit late but we decided Let's drop some, uh, you know, video. Yes. The, 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 you know, the tower behind the us is called the Torch Tower. Yeah. It is the tallest building in Qatar. So we are at Qatar uh, Aspire, Aspire Park, Park, having, uh, you know, some uh, breeze, and we said, let's go out and catch up. It's been a while, and the weather is so nice now. We are approaching yeah, winter. winter season. Yeah. Welcome Very guys, nice. <laughs> it's always a pleasure having you watching our video, sharing. Yes. We have clocked a thousand plus subscribers. We are so happy. Thank you Thank guys you always. so so much for supporting us always. And continue, never, and don't give up. Huh? Yes. We still love you, we need your support, and uh, we will bring more. You can also propose what topic do you want us to discuss next. Mm. We, we are always open, okay? Yes. We love you so much. Until next time. Take care. It's the Rosie's Diaries. Diaries.